Hi. So I'm quite scared to do this video because I don't know what's gonna happen, honestly. I just searched some random hacks. I'm basically just gonna be doing these really weird hacks and seeing if they actually work. I've seen them like over Instagram, over everywhere. And I feel like this type of video is probably from about 2017, 2016. It's very outdated, but obviously I'm just gonna do it now. So we're just gonna get straight into it. So if you wanna see me test some really strange beauty hack, then subscribe if you want to, give the video a thumbs up as well, and keep your fingers crossed that this actually goes well. I am actually gonna try my best to, to like, not just like make this video a complete fail, I actually wanna try them genuinely and make them work if I can. So that's what we're gonna do. So, so the first thing is brows. And um, one of the hacks, let me get my phone so I can read it off for you. So, one of, one of the hacks that I found was to wet your brows before filling them in. So, it says, slightly wetting your brows before using your brow, pen bre brow pencil helps the pencil go on more smoothly and makes sure you don't use too much product. This means you won't have so much to take off if you make a mistake. I mean, that's kind of common sense. Like, when I moisturise my skin, obviously it's not wetting it, but I, like, make sure I have moisturiser, like, a bit, like, whatever's left on my fingers. I just kind of run it through my brows. So, I feel like this is just common sense and this will work. I'm just gonna... I've got some Fix Plus here. I'm just gonna do that because I haven't got any... Oh, wait, I've got my water bottle. Why didn't I do that? Okay, I'm just gonna use Fix Plus anyway and just run that through my brows. So, let's fill in my brows now. I'm just gonna use my BH Cosmetics brow pencil. Yeah, it does. It goes on a lot smoother, obviously because they're wet and it's not like hard or dried out. Yeah, I knew this one was gonna work. This is just common sense, to be honest. I don't know how this would work if you use like a brow pomade. Honestly, don't know. Okay, next hack. We've got a fun one. So, the next one is kind of like a well-known one and it's, uh, to be fair, Chloe Morello has been doing this for like three to five years. She's one of the first people that I've ever seen do this before it was like a big thing. So props to her because she's the first person I saw doing this. But it's using panty liners as eyeshadow guards. So I'm gonna obviously have to cut these. This is basically supposed to catch your fallout. It did say on the website to just like stick it on like your hand to just so it doesn't like stick to your skin super intensely. Also angle it like this, you know, so you've got you've got a nice you can do like a wing, you know. Remember when everyone used to do this with tape? I was never a fan of doing that to be honest. I just thought it was really strange. Okay, I think I like removed the sticky a bit too much because it's literally gonna fall off my face. Let's just go for it. I, I'm not even gonna prime my eyelids today. I'm just gonna be an absolute savage and just go for it because I feel like this is literally just gonna fall off. I'm quickly just gonna <laughs> see if I get any fallout. To be fair, I don't know if this palette has fallout. I'm using the Beauty Bay Fiery palette, so I don't know if this even has any fallout. This is honestly going in my eyes. I look great. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna quickly do some crease colours and then we can move on to the next hack. Okay, right, so I've done the main part that I needed to do. I'm gonna take these off. Okay, so it didn't really catch fallout, but that's because there are there's no fallout from this eyeshadow palette, but uh, did it help with the shape? It did kind of give me like a little wingy situation, so I mean, I know this works. That one's successful as well. That's two hacks that actually work. Great. Okay, so the next one I'm a bit confused about, but I think I roughly know what it means. It's cutting out a moon shape stencil from the plastic part of an eyelash packaging. So we're basically gonna be doing a cut crease with lash packaging. So I've got two different packs of eyelashes because I don't know what because I was like, does it mean this bit? But I think, you know, using the two brain cells that I have, I think it means, you know, the bits that are kind of shaped like your eyelids where the lashes go on, you know, like this bit here. This is gonna hurt, it's like plastic. I know you can't really see what I'm doing because it's like see-through, sorry. Okay, this is what you're left with. I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna paint this. 
Oh. This is not gonna work. This is, I just know this is not gonna work. Let's get you up close and personal for this one, okay? So do you look down and then like press it? Oh dear. How do you like, oh dear. You know what, that's not half bad. That is not awful. Like, I mean, it's not, like it has not, hasn't not gone right up to the top where it's supposed to. Let me do the other one. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it's kind of done the trick, but kind of not. Um, I'm just gonna use my brush. Clean this up now. It's up to you if you think that was successful. Um, let me just pop on some eyeshadow or something quickly. Okay, great. The next one is gonna be like a full on DIY job because the next one was using an eraser to do your eyeliner. So it basically wanted you to have like a square or rectangular like eraser and then like cut off the corner and then use that as like a stencil. So it kind of looks like a door wedge, I guess, like that kind of shape in this entire house don't have a rubber great so I thought I would use a tissue not gonna lie this literally just dropped on me as I was looking for a rubber and I was like you know what that's a sign from God to use this this literally is not gonna work I, I, I that's the triangle so I've, I've just chopped the corner okay. so does it mean like how, how do I that is it gonna do that I just got like a pot gel liner I guess, I can use the... Mm. Not feeling confident about this one. Am I doing this right? Well, let's just see how this goes. No, this is too long, it's... no, no, no. We have it pressed on. Let's just give it a, give it a minute to, uh, you know, do its thing. Oh dear, that was not great. <laughs> that does not work. Okay, it seems like a lot of effort. Just learn how to do a wing yourself. I mean, the shape's kind of there, but the wing is just a bit too much. So, I do a wing myself. Okay, so this one was completely messed up because of the other wing situation we have going on. So let me just pop on some mascara and then we can move on to the face hacks, which I'm more excited about. Okay, so that's all done again. Let's just ignore this one because that just failed. So we're moving on to the face next. I'm just going to add a face primer, even though I'm literally going to take this makeup off, but I can't not have anything on my skin underneath. Um, ignore my face being a bit discoloured, but it's just because I used like this primer and it kind of It makes your skin look really nice and smooth though, so Okay, so the next hack is foundation So there are a lot of different ones for foundation. They're all very strange So the one I decided to do is using a bra insert a bra insert to apply your foundation. So let me check if I need to actually dampen the bra insert or if you just literally put the face, the foundation on it. Oh. Applying foundation with a bra insert. So this one is pretty weird, but it kind of works. Does it though? Okay, it doesn't actually say that you dampen it. It, it literally doesn't say anything. So we're gonna do dampened on one side and then on the other side, we're gonna just do it dry. So I have, my, a bra here. Um, I thought I would use like an old bra that I don't really wear so if these get ruined that's fine I don't really care. So so let's apply some foundation on. Tap it? Okay let's just tap it. Let's pretend it's like a sponge. Okay, so it's blending out, I guess. Okay, so swiping it doesn't work because you just kind of get lines. So don't don't swipe it. Pat everything in. Okay, not gonna lie, this is kind of blended in pretty nicely. So let me just like try and tap. You just kind of get like weird marks because of 
obviously the sponge and then you've got like the outer bit of around the like where the stitching is for for the pad so you do kind of get some weird marks on your face it's blended out really good that's what's left so that's when you dampen it okay now let's try this side and i'll use this dry Okay, so this side doesn't take off your foundation as much, like there's less on this side and then there's more on that side. So when it's dry, you um, you get more coverage if, you know, if you're, you're actually going to do this at home, which I hope you're not because this is very strange. But you know what? You do whatever you want, actually. This, the insert when it's dry is actually better. You don't get as much like streakiness. I mean, it still is not blended properly, obviously, because it's just no um but i would say you get more coverage from that side and so i feel like this one i would say it works more than it doesn't it definitely does work the next one is very very boring to me because it's scary apparently this one works but we're gonna see but it's using a red lipstick underneath your concealer and it apparently covers your dark circles so that's what we're gonna do um this is the only red lipstick i own now because i've got rid of lots of them it's the colourpop Lux lipstick in get a room very nice shade very very nice shade uh okay so let's go for it let's try and cover this up obviously you're covering up red and then it covers like pretty well as you can see but then you have like pinky red undertones I'm going to use a sponge to blend this all out because I don't want to ruin my brush. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, already I can tell you this is just a straight up no. And I've just got a really pink under eye. This, this, the, the, no. <coughs> That's just made my face pink. I look a bit sunburnt. Great. I'm going to have to set it because I just need to, so. Okay, so the last hack we have is a very famous one. I, I've never actually seen anyone do it fully. I've never watched a video of anyone doing it. We're going to contour with a fork. It's for your nose, isn't it? Okay. Um, I've got my bronzer, my cream bronzer. Um, I'm obviously just going to have to, like, use my brush. Let's see if this is how you contour your nose so you apparently put that there i think and then or is it like that way no because that won't work or is it like that because then it's like flat it's not flat in any way okay let's 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 try it oh dear i oh no this is pressing into my nose and it hurts What the hell? That did not work. Okay, let's try that again. Let me try it the opposite way. This way. <laughs> this does not work. That one's a no. That is an absolute no. Okay, so we're gonna call it quits here. So that are all the hacks that I've got for this video. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. The nose, oh my god, the nose contour, the fork. I'm dead. So I think to just end this video, I don't think I would use any of those hacks. I don't think I would literally do any of those again because they just, no. They just, they take too much effort and I just feel like it's easier to do the process that you're trying to do without getting a hack for it because you may as well just learn how to do it properly without needing something else to do it if that makes any sense but that is it for the video so i hope you enjoyed it obviously this is not a serious video whatsoever it's just for fun and just to see if these things actually work so if you did enjoy the video then give it a thumbs up if you didn't i'm sure you'll give it a thumbs down so anyway thank you for watching if i wasted your time i'm not even sorry because that was really funny and yeah i hope you enjoyed it so i will see you in my next video probably this was, this was very interesting